Hi, all 24 of you lovely people who have subscribed. I know that you're watching, possibly, and I've got one viewer, maybe two, uh, who like to watch what I do uh, daily, nightly, weekly, Kira, nightly. Uh, welcome to Behind the Desk with Dan. I thought, you, I thought you were going to cut it there. I thought you were. Uh, now the 24 subscribers are going to be well beat off. Oh, man. Can't get the staff. I am going to answer questions, be silly, and do strange things behind a desk because I can, and I'm a bit disabled at the moment, so it's the best I can do for you. Uh, when I'm better, I will obviously be really annoyed when people are texting me midway through recording something. Bloody love Haribo. I'm not gonna lie, everybody, kids and grown-ups love them so. The happy world of Haribo. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Um, nom, 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 nom. Everyone loves Haribo. Come on. That was a stupid question. Stu uh, these are so nasty. That was a stupid question. Get a life. Gosh. Let me just say, uh, I was very unwell yesterday. Very, very unwell. But today, is another D and today I feel a lot better I don't know why I'm talking like this I should go into like Kevin Kevin Bridges hey I was walking down the road and someone was talking to me it's a really bad Kevin Bridges but it's but yeah uh, I like to take the mickey out of Tom Jones I, I remember a young boy, I, I used to, I, I, I used to hang around with Elvis, I did, so I did. I, I did, and those Welsh kicks, so on the weekend, oh, you know those Welsh crumpet. Uh, clearly not Tom Jones, because he's got block nose. Uh, and yeah, I suck. I used to do it, I mean, I mean, I, 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 I love the New York accent. I, I I like talking in the New York style of the of the talky talks of the like walkie talkie. Hey Tony! Hey! Hey! Do snorkels save lives? Are you for real? Are you Are you for real? Do snorkels save lives? Chuck someone into space with a snorkel and see what happens. Or, or just throw them into the sea with a snorkel and push them down a bit. Clearly, you've got to know how to use a snorkel for it to save a life, you plonker. Come on. Next. Am I available to hire? I am not. And I need to make this clear. I am not an escort. Contrary to what you might believe and what might be said about me, I am not. In Pretty Woman, and I am not for sale. Unless you want some kind of software developing or website or design stuff, that's what I do for me. So, you know, that's cool. Obviously I work. I've got a computer right here, you know, I'm, I'm doing work as I do this. I'm working and talking to a camera at the same time. Come on. You gotta you gotta you gotta live the 24-7 uh, uh, life. Uh, you know, you gotta work hard, play hard, have surgery harder.
this one grinds my gears. Do I really have cancer? Let me tell you something. I'll make it very, very clear. I have cancer the same as every other person who has cancer has cancer. I should never be questioned on this. Very clear. I've had a lot of surgery and I've had a lot of stuff happen and mentally it's a horrible thing to go through. So if you were in my shoes and someone said that to you, think how you'd feel. So don't ask ever, do you have cancer? Because that, that's just one, rude. Two, it just shows that you're stupid. Don't, don't ever question someone on that. If, they, if they're faking it to get attention or something like that, they're sick. They're sick in the head. They need some help. People like me and other people that I know who are going through the same thing, just get on with their lives and they carry on or they try and make a difference or they try and make stuff more fun or more interesting. But you kind of people who ask stupid questions like that must be so miserably sad mundane and just horrid people. You just need to think about where you're coming from and sort yourself out there. I was bullied when I was younger. That's an interesting subject. I think I'll do a video separately on that. Would I go to space? Yes I would. Damn straight I'd go to space. Apparently it's an awesome club. I'm gonna wrap this up now and I've had a great time answering some questions so let me just first of all say thank you to everyone who uh, gave me a stupid question in either a text, a message on Facebook or anything. I hope I've answered your questions. Uh, to the idiot who said, do you really have cancer? Yes I do. Why would I lie about it? It's just flipping stupid to ask someone that. Don't do it again. Smack on your flipping hand. And yeah, my final thought of this whole thing today is going to be, you know what? No matter what goes on in your life, take the time to find out if others are okay. And don't judge other people by any other means than the fact that they are human. People make mistakes, people do stupid things, people, uh, yeah, are intolerable sometimes. But always, and I mean this, always take time to look out for each other. Everyone, everyone deserves the best, and everyone deserves to be looked after. Just because some people have money or uh, they have parents who are wealthy or they've got everything that they could possibly want in life. It doesn't make them a good person. You know, like they say in Kingsford, Mabbies, make it man. You know, courtesy, common courtesy towards each other is all you need. So yeah, till tomorrow when I see the doctors, I will update you all and you enjoy my plethora of stupidity today.